I'm gonna give you five tips to help you choose the right gaming computer for you. Now, I don't blame you if you feel like you're gonna be left behind if you don't unload your savings on the latest and greatest tech, but even if you have plenty of money, it can still be very intimidating just navigating through all the choices. But first, I'm proud to say that this video is sponsored by Best Buy. But stay with me because the only reason that I accepted this offer is because I was already a Best Buy fanatic. And they're allowing me to be open and honest about what I say as I give my own opinions and advice. I personally selected my favorites and if you click on the link below in the description, you can see that these are some genuinely good deals. Two big reasons I like buying from Best Buy. Number one is I'm impatient and I love that many times I can just buy something and go pick it up right away. And number two is because of their very friendly return policy, especially if you're an elite member. Being able to take something back to the store instead of shipping it back is a huge plus. Even as a little kid, I always found a really weird relaxation with just walking around Best Buy just to see what kind of new technology they thought of this time. I know, pretty nerdy. On a side note, I got a question for you guys. Why is Best Buy not an acceptable location for a date night, but going to Forever 21 to look at cute outfits somehow is? Let me know in the comments below. Nowadays though, as a busy mid-30s dad of three, I do a lot of online tech shopping. When I shop at Best Buy, I typically purchase on their website and have it shipped directly to my house, or I use their curbside pickup if the package is really expensive. Because I really really don't feel comfortable leaving those at my door. For me, curbside has always taken about five to eight minutes from the moment that I arrived. And because most of my tech browsing happens online now, I've gotten pretty good at finding great deals and extra ways of saving money. And right now, a lot of gaming computers have dropped in price. One of my favorite pre-built desktops that I've actually got my hands on and done a review for is the Corsair i7-300 Vengeance gaming PC. This thing is a beast. And here you can see that somehow it's an even better deal than buying directly from the manufacturer. Manufacturer. I was very pleased with the speed, cooling, and upgradability with this machine. And here's a little surprise for you. The 12th gen MSI GE76 is finally available. I'm pleased to say that I got one and that's my next product to review. And there's still a few left, at least from Best Buy, as of this recording. I actually got the i7 and i9 version and I'll be comparing both of those in my review. Last year, it was the fastest gaming laptop that I ever tested. So fingers crossed, hopefully it's the fastest gaming laptop this year as well. I'm also stepping into VR as I finally got an Oculus Quest 2 headset. I'll be doing a video on here soon where I'll be connecting that to the GE76 to show you what it's like pushing VR to its max. If you've already got an Oculus headset but haven't set it up yet, feel free to click on my referral link in the description below so that we both can get $30 towards the game store. But let's say you just want a bare bones portable gaming machine that can run basic titles or even the best titles with just modified graphic settings. If so, I recommend this HP Vic to 16. I reviewed the 3060 version of this machine and I was pretty pleased with what it could do for such a low price. You can't really beat $700 for a decent gaming laptop right now. Also keep in mind if you find a better deal anywhere else just click on the link I provided below to take you to the Best Buy price match guarantee page to chat and get them to give you that exact same price. And if you want to save even more money for just a little while longer you can save up to 50% on clearance or open box computers. So now organizing by laptops, check this out. An Asus Rogue Zephyrus G15 with a QHD screen and a 3080 GPU for only $2,000. Or for almost $1,000 less, you can get a less powerful but still great deal on an Asus Tough Dash with a 3070 GPU. And on top of this, to save an even further 5%, you can sign up for their Best Buy credit card. And your first purchase with that card, you get 10% back. That's crazy. And if you like my B-roll shots from my videos, I bought that camera camera at Best Buy last year and I love it. $3,000 on a camera is a pretty big investment. So to make sure that I protected that investment, I also got the four year accidental geek squad protection. I recommend getting at least a couple years when purchasing a computer. Click on my link below in the description to shop top deals at Best Buy now before they're gone. But before you make your final choice, let's talk about our five tips to help you narrow down your big decision. Our first tip is don't just blindly max it out. There's a law of diminishing returns when it comes to gaming PCs and needing the best of the best. Anything above an i7 processor with a 3070 GPU and you start to see a little bit less value for your money. Figure out what games you're actually gonna be playing, not what games you think you might possibly play at some point in the future, once. If you mostly play Roblox, Minecraft, Valorant, or honestly even Fortnite, 
you really don't need that powerful of a machine. Too many people waste their money on super gaming rigs for simple games that honestly can run well on basic machines. If you're watching tech YouTubers and they show you that your game can get 144 plus frames per second at highest preset settings, then you're gonna have a pretty great gaming experience. A lot of people have asked me in the comments, can it do schoolwork and game? Yes, if it can game, it will destroy that research paper. Also make sure to mind your RAM. Most games don't actually use more than 16 gigabytes of RAM. So maxing that out is honestly also a waste of money. Unless you're also going to be doing a lot of creative work with video editing or 3D rendering. In that case, I recommend getting 32 gigabytes of RAM. My second tip is daydream. Imagine for a second your perfect week between school or work and your leisure time. What were you able to do? If your daydreaming didn't involve you being confined to one room every time you used your computer, you're going to be happier with a gaming laptop. Even though it won't be as powerful powerful as that gaming desktop. I personally feel trapped when I can't move around when working or gaming. Tip number three is don't be blinded by the beauty. Yes, design is a factor and we all want a beautiful computer to look at each day, but beauty is only chassis deep. If it's too sleek and thin, it's going to get hot and then it's going to power limit itself and hold it back from its full potential. Or if you find multiple comments or posts talking about a defect, look into that. If it's not isolated to one person, there's a big chance it might happen to you. Or maybe that fancy RGB or unique design jacked the price up way above the competition. These are some things that may make you rethink your decision or even regret your decision if you've already bought it. Which kind of leads us more specifically to tip number four, comments are your friend. Watching a tech reviewer is a good starting point, but it's also a lot to digest in just one video. I recommend after watching the full review videos, replaying the video in the background while scrolling through all the comments to give you an even better perspective on multiple opinions on things that they hate or love about that computer or even things that they disagree with in the video. Many times a common theme within the comments is all you need to push you in the right direction if you're on the fence. Tip number five, future proofing. Figure out your base budget first and then adjust that based on how long you want your computer to be useful before you need to upgrade it. If you're going to be gaming for long periods of time, you're going to need a computer with great thermals. And powerful computers with great thermals are usually a bit more expensive. Usually tech reviewers like myself will mention if we think that temps are at levels that may be a problem in the long run. If you have questions about any of these tips or any other aspect about buying a gaming PC, let me know in the comments below as I usually respond to all of them. But if you're publicly subscribed, not only do I guarantee a reply, but your comment gets replied to first. Also remember every week I do a giveaway that randomly selects someone who's interacted with this channel. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe with notifications turned on to keep an eye out for that as well as keeping up to date with all of my latest gaming PCs. If you want to check out my playlist of all of those reviews, then click on this link here. Or if you just want to live vicariously through my unboxings, then click on this link down here here and I will see you there.